November. Today, woke up in, I don't know, like I was sleeping like a bear for years. So anyway, I'm going to start off with Aries first since that resonates the most with me. Aries have been through this huge transformation in 2020, right? Rising from the ashes, the underdog, total masculine, masculine can talk energy, but this is for you, Aries. So thanks for being loving and faithful. I have to say that Scorpio probably gets the most views for me, but I appreciate all the likes, shares, and subscribes. If it doesn't fit, please share it with someone else. Shine like a diamond. Let's get into this. I've cleared it out. I'm going to use the Lenormand deck first. First, I'm going to pull one card since November is key for most of us coming out of this dark situation and spirits, guides, and love. I am going to ask you to come in and bless my watchers. Bless November. I have the chills from head to toe. Bless all the abundance, even though I'm medically falling apart, emotionally, spiritually, and everything else completely aligned. So Aries, here we go. Aries. Your ships are coming in. Three, you have this abundant energy. You have always been in collaborations. You're always the first one in line to help. You're always the giver. It's the pentacle energy. Your ships are coming in in regards to money. Boom, right off the bat, Aries. Isn't that your personality? I am going to pull one of my oracle cards in the psychic tarot deck. To go ahead and back up that real quick. The ship that is coming in finally. Don't give up. Some of you are already there, but some of you are just awakening today. I can see like a little baby with crust in their eyes, yawning and stretching. And I have all these things, images going through my head of new life, new stability. It feels like spring and awakening has sprung. Either you or your partner has sprung. That's divine masculine and feminine energy. It is not a man or a woman. It is energy, being dominant or not dominant. There's a glare. Obstacles and challenges have been where you were. Always a break in the bridge. Always a break in the road. Always something coming up. Well, that's because spirit has completely aligned you and your feet on the right path. Because if this would have not been broken, you would have not gotten where you needed to go. So sometimes obstacles and roadblocks are very important in your spiritual growth. So much that spirit did that exactly at the perfect time for you. So we have a three and a five if you're numerical. We have partnership and we have uncertainty, right? Quite not short energy. Be sure. Spirit is saying you're the one. Like in Greece, um, you're the, ah, uh, how's it go? You're the one that I want. Ooh, 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 baby. I was triggered to that. So that's spirit saying today for you, Aries. One more oracle. And then we're going to get into a romance angel. And then I'm going to get into a small tarot for the month of November. I'm going to finish it off with a guidance in business and um, close it out. And uh, let you get ready for November. Today's election day. Make sure you vote it. Fire and passion. You are showing up finally in your own reading new energy. You will be on fire. Like Bruce Springsteen said, I'm on fire. Hey baby, are you all alone? Did your daddy go away and leave you alone? Got a mad desire. Somebody is yearning for my Aries. Fire, complete passion. <sighs> the breath of new life. Fire symbolizes that. Your awakening is in transformation is now in compliance for where spirit needs you to go. That is perfect. My nose is running. That means it's moving forward. I did not see this before. This is crazy. So your road was blocked and water was below because you were filled with emotion. Spirit is shining a light. And now there's a dove. I don't know if you guys saw that before. Spirit is walking with you, and then the light showed up. It's heart. Your heart chakra opened up. God, you did the work. Congratulations, whoever you are. He showed up on your path. Your masculine has arrived, or your feminine. So if you're waiting for your polarity and your counterpart, they're here. Comfortable. All of a sudden, I'm getting vision of a person in my head. One foot in front of the other. This person likes to walk around barefooted. When your first image of this person is, might be big and um, powerful, but at the end of the day, they just like the comforts of home. Cozy, family feeling, nostalgic. 
passionate fire coming in. Wow, this sounds quite interesting, Aries. Quite interesting. Romance Angel, what is this passionate person coming in for November for Aries going to show up and bring with them? What kind of love spirit is coming forward for my Aries for November? Show me, show me, show me, show me. Spirit says two. One for me, one for you. One for them. Oh, too many. One, two. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Your person is coming in. Let it unfold naturally. The angels have been watching over them and not you. Not that they aren't, but you're completely, you know, with your children in abundance, in alignment. And this person is either traveling far or doing a lot of reading, really trying to find out about who you are. You're mysterious to them, even though you seem like a very flamboyant person. There's a lot of mystery around you. They're very changing but there you go they're very interested in knowing what kind of person you are on the inside right everybody's attracted on the outside and if you're not you kind of move on which is sad saying you are lovable and you deserve it so they're pushing it's the push pull theory you pushed they pulled you shot your arrow with cupid and poof, you got your target it just took them a while to awaken but now you're awakened it's because the transformation is here full alignment with one another you're feeling each other's energy it's good energy this person didn't feel worthy before For some reason it's like poof you kind of fell out of the sky for them right you've been waiting for that moment for a really long time for spirit to say oh there's your person but what you don't know is you're someone else's person it's so exciting i'm so excited okay let's get into what kind of occupation for November, if you guys are still seeking work because of COVID, or what day of the week is lucky for you, or the time of day that is lucky for you. So let's see for Aries what that is. For a job spirit, show me. Okay, we have good days of the month, Feb Fridays and Saturdays. And we have this relationship makes you a little scared, and that is okay. And to back that up, up here, fire passion. It's yours. It's coming in. Finally. Don't let it, Spirit said, control the relationship. Let the relationship grow with passion. Learn about the person. Show them how you feel about them. Anything else in my Oracle deck that Spirit would like to share between these two people or Aries in general this month for November 2020? The year is almost over. Good God. It's your soulmate. It is your soulmate. It is your soulmate. But um, Spirit just tuned in and said there's someone coming back from your past. I would have to say, Aries, this is a test for you. I Wow, my bracelets match my shirt. Weird. Anyway, this is a test for you to finally realize that Spirit draws in a person and we manifest things without realizing. Be careful what you wish for. Because you deserve it. You just have to get through the mess to see which one's right for you. Sometimes solitary work, sometimes being around people work, but I feel that Aries is back. Step in your pep, pep in your step, moving forward, becoming abundant. The break was well needed, right? The break was perfect for what you needed. Yep. Okay, here we go with the reading, moving on. So for November, we're gonna pull four cards. The first week, the second week, the third week, and the fourth week. Today's reading for November, Got to cut them a little shorter. They take so long to do everybody. And everybody would like their November reading, right? So since passion is the key element here for your soulmate, maybe a weekend.